Today I thought we could talk about the difference between motivation and discipline. So most people who uh, get started with their fitness journey, whether that be looking to build muscle, lose weight, whatever, start off here in terms of motivation and then naturally over time their motivation will dip and that's when they run into problems. And the reason is, I think too many people think of motivation as being very important to making progress. In my opinion, it's just not. What is very important is discipline. I talked before about consistency being a key variable in whether or not you're gonna achieve your goals. Well, if you think about it, by nature, motivation is fleeting. It dips and it, and it peaks depending on all sorts of factors. Whereas discipline is doing the thing that you know you should do, whether you want to do it or not. Luckily, discipline can be cultivated. It's something that can be practiced and you can, uh, you can apply it in different areas of your life and there's a bit of crossover between that. So if you are particularly disciplined in one area of your life, whether that be something to do with work or whatever, you can you know, tap into that skill in other aspects like fitness, calorie counting, whatever it is. We've talked before a little bit about how planning ahead can be super important for things like protein intake, for things like sticking to your calories for the day. Uh, it's equally as important to plan ahead with your workouts. Waiting until you feel like going to the gym is not a smart way to go because naturally, even people who enjoy working out, it's not going to be as often as you uh, would hope it could be or as often as it could be if you plan your workouts ahead of time. So my advice is always, at least on the weekend before the week, uh, plan ahead a little bit and, and treat your workouts like an appointment. Treat them like, you know, it's something you have to do. On Tuesday, I have an appointment at the gym with myself. On Wednesday, I have an appointment, you know, to go swimming on my own or whatever it is. Um, on that note, some people choose to work out with a partner. You know, find somebody who has similar goals or, or is a similar level of experience in terms of, you know, workouts and go to the gym with them. That can be a really good way to tap into, um, you know, keeping each other accountable, helping build some confidence in the gym because nobody likes going somewhere they don't want to go on their own, you know. Um, so yeah, that can be a really good way to do that. On the flip side, if they were to cancel, are you still gonna to go to the gym or are you less likely to go? Are you more likely to just say, oh, I'll just wait until they're free? If that's the case, then obviously it can be counterproductive. So treat that with a little bit of caution. Many people argue to me that discipline is just something they're not particularly good at. It's not something that comes natural to them. Um, and that's why they struggle. I would argue that that's not the case. It's just they haven't really learned to drag that part, that, that discipline that they are good at from one aspect of their life and apply it to others. For example, I think most people have high levels of discipline in their life. If you think about what discipline is, it's doing the thing that you know you should do whether you want to do it or not. Okay, how about going to work? Now, most people don't enjoy their jobs. Some people do and that's great. Most people don't enjoy their jobs, but they still go. Why? Because they want the result. They want the paycheck and they want to be able to pay their bills. On that note, paying bills, literally nobody likes paying bills. However, you still do it because you want the result. You want to keep the electric on. You want to keep the broadband. You want to be able to watch Netflix. Whatever it is, whatever bill it is, you pay it because you want the result. You don't want to pay it, but you still do because you know that the result is worth it. If you treat your body the same, if you treat your workouts and your calorie plans and your, t your protein target and all those things with that discipline of this is important and I want the result, then that's, I think, a much more consistent way to approach your fitness targets. I've used this example before, but brushing your teeth. I can't imagine anybody actually enjoys the act of brushing their teeth, but we all do it because we want the result, or rather we don't want the negative result of not doing it. Uh, washing the dishes, again, very few people actually enjoy that, but we do it because we don't wanna have a messy kitchen. You see what I mean? In every aspect of your life, you do things that you know you have to do just because you either want the positive result or you don't want the negative result. Treat your body the same way. You don't want the negative result of being unfit. You want the positive result of whatever it is you're aiming to achieve. That's the way to approach it with discipline rather than motivation. Don't get me wrong. On the days when you are feeling it, great. That means you can, you know, go do your workout or whatever it is, go do your shopping with that, you know, I'm super motivated at the moment to, to stick to my to stick my targets, to track my progress, to make progress in the gym, whatever it is, and really take advantage of that time because when you are feeling it, you're more likely to push yourself a little bit harder with your workouts, for example. You're more likely to go for a longer walk and build up your step count for the day. But don't rely on those days. Those days are great, but realistically, they are gonna be few and far between. 
Some people enjoy working out, don't get me wrong, but luckily you don't need to enjoy it to actually get the benefit. Just like paying your accounts, tax or any other bill, you don't need to be motivated to get the same result. If you do have any specific questions around this topic or anything else, then by all means reach out, but until next time, take it easy.